Sweet Tea with Coach Key. Let's just get down to it. W- welcome to Sweet Tea with Coach Key. Coach Key. Sweet Tea with Coach Key. Real life stories of inspiration, perseverance, and prosperity. Turn your radio up as loud as possible. Sweet Tea with Coach Key. I hope you have your teacups ready because she has the sugar. Nothing like a cup of brown sugar to sweeten my day. Now let's enjoy some Sweet Tea with Coach Key. Sweet Tea with Coach Key. Welcome to this week's episode of Sweet Tea with Coach Key. This week, I am going to talk about something that is not an issue for everyone, but it is an issue for me, so I'm going to talk about it. Um, I don't have an issue with working. I don't have an issue with, I've never had an issue with working or working out or getting up or being creative. That's not... A strong place for me the difficult place for me has been when to stop when to stop and lately I have been getting signs from the Lord to stop I had even gotten this sign a few months ago and I shared it about taking rest in Christ well I'm I'm sorry spending more time with Christ like not occupying our space so much with work and um um like this allowing the time to pass where we're not embracing our relationship with the lord that's what i spoke about but this is a little bit different this is not saying that you don't spend time with the lord in your rest but specifically resting taking a step back and not engaging in any type of labor intensive uh mentally intensive actions that could even be getting online scrolling on social media checking your email anything that requires you to come out of a restful state and that is really difficult for me really really difficult for me and it's difficult for me because i find satisfaction in working I find joy in being active. I find peace in moving about and being a goal-oriented person. To see on a day where I'm stressed, if I clean, oh, that is, that's like taking an anti-anxiety pill for me. I start to immediately feel better because I'm making progress. Progress gives me peace. But the Bible tells us to not lean on our own understanding. So what they may very well look like progress to me may be essentially putting me 10, 15, 20, 30 steps back. I realize that I need balance. I realize that the Lord was speaking through people who care about me and it came in the form of sandpaper, as Lisa Nichols would say. When I initially heard it, I thought it was a jab. I thought, well, you're trying to tell me to slow down because you don't have the momentum that I do. You don't have the, the drive and we're different. Not from a, um, a hurtful place or a, a vindictive place, I thought these thoughts, because it came from someone that I really care about. However, I felt like this person was trying to magnify our differences and make my way wrong and their way right when in fact it wasn't their way they were merely sharing the word of God with me but you see how in the place where sometimes we need spiritual medicine we can be deceived into thinking that this isn't my prescription (laughs) this isn't this isn't for me This isn't, this isn't mine, but that's the unique thing about a journey is that we have the privilege of continuing to grow and learn and experience and have an intimate relationship with wisdom if we choose to. I know that I need rest because I heard it from multiple people. And the simple question that I heard last question that I was asked last was, do you rest? simple do you rest 
I literally go to bed at 12. I used to go to bed. I used to be a really early early bird. I would go to bed around 6 or 7 p.m. And I would rise at 4 every morning and go to the gym. Lately, it's been down at 12, up at 5. And I'm like, okay, well, I must can thrive on five hours of sleep. Here's the thing. Your cell phone is not going to function the same way on 5% as it would on 98%. Your cell phone is not going to charge as rapidly with a small power box if you have an iPhone or any phone. Any phone. I'm going to say any phone. Your phone is not going to charge the same with a small power box, which we all call them different things. An aftermarket charger box, small, as it would with the phone charger that was made by the same manufacturer that made the device. That same, same charger. And my, listen to what I said now. The, the same charger that created the device not an aftermarket charger and to me my aftermarket would be caffeine it would be that caramel macchiato in the afternoon it would be making sure that i'm getting enough b12 but i wasn't taking it because i have a vitamin b deficiency i was taking it because it gives me energy the ultimate source is the lord and he has given us instruction to rest to recharge, to renew daily. And if you're someone like me who struggles with rest, it's not a jab at your work ethic. It is, however, a jab at your discipline. We think discipline is what we do to punish someone or, or something, I guess. However, discipline can also be Preventing a consequence from occurring. Boundaries. Sorry about that. My husband decided to call. And in his phone call. <clears throat> correlates exactly with where we are. And my phone rang because he's. It's for this exact reason. He is on bypass. Emergency bypass. So that he can call when my phone is on do not disturb and the phone call was him weeping telling me that one of his friends has passed away and went into eternal rest from this side of life mm. i i think that that phone call was right on time because it puts things into perspective as it relates to the right way of doing this side of life. And it's not according to what we think or what we want. It's according to the instruction that we've been given by the Lord. And in my mind, I think I'm going to make the best, the most out of each 24 that I get. I'm going to make the most out of it. When essentially that's like going to school, sitting in math class and reading English literature I'm in I'm in school but I'm not doing the right assignment to pass the class the the drive is there I'm working but I'm not on assignment I'm not following the syllabus or the curriculum and the curriculum for this life includes rest it includes balance according to God's will for your life because there will be a day where we all have to give an account and what if the conversation is I was not able to do X Y and Z because on this day I had to recoup or overcompensate for not resting or overcompensate for not taking care of myself because there's a lot of things that can come from not giving your body rest from overworking your body and pretty much it's it's to me I'm realizing it's going nowhere fast because obedience is a lot better than sacrifice, according to the word of God. So being obedient and staying in line with what his word and his will is, will produce the results that give him the glory, which should all be the goal for us all. 
I hope that you all have a balanced and peaceful remainder of your week. As always, you can stay connected with me on Instagram at Keisha Austin underscore. I will talk with you all later. Take care.